What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mack. Return of the Mack. What's happening, man? How y'all doing this morning? I hope y'all having a good day out there hustling, bustling, going on, get it. But I want to talk to y'all about Cam Newton and how the media and everybody got on Cam Newton about his game manager, game, cha game manager, game changer comment and why I feel like Cam Newton was right. But I'm going to get to that in just a second. Before I jump into the subject matter, let me say thank you to each and every last one of y'all, those who've been riding with the channel, and those of y'all who might be new to clicking on the video. Let me say thank you to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because y'all could have been doing anything else in the world, but you took time out your day, time out your important life to jump on this video, to click on and see what I got to say, because everybody know this channel, Tony back, go keep it real, but he going to show love. Now, with that being said, let me say thank you to y'all. And I appreciate that. And as a small YouTuber, if y'all want to help the channel grow, y'all like what I'm talking about, y'all want to see me move, if y'all want to hear more subject matter on sports, football, or whatever, all I ask you to do is to like, share, or subscribe to the video. Now, with that being said, let's jump into it. Now, last week, y'all, well, first, I know y'all about to get on me. Tony Mack, you look rusty, crusted, and busted. Yes, I know I do, y'all. I've been battling the flu the last couple of days. I don't know why, but every time the weather changes, it just takes me under. Every single time, y'all. I've been battling the flu. That's probably, you can hear it in my voice now. You can probably hear it in my voice now, y'all. But I am loyal to y'all. And I wanted to come here and make sure I drop a video at least once a week like I always do and talk about a certain subject matter or give a real opinion of how we really feel on certain things. Now, with that being said, we was talking about the Cam Newton, how last week Cam Newton said there's a difference in between a game manager and a game, cha a game changer. And he named certain quarterbacks that people got up in their fields about, namely Dak Prescott and Brock Purdy. Now, y'all see the big 49er jacket, so y'all know I'm not here to throw Brock Purdy under the bus. Now, Dak Prescott, we can roll the bus over him and go roll it backwards and roll it back over and roll it backwards. As long as he still got the Dallas Cowboys star on his helmet, we ain't got no love over here for him. But we got to be honest about certain things. Dak Prescott this year is playing like an MVP quarterback, at least prior to Sunday's game. At least prior to Sunday's game, right? Now, here's the interesting part. When Cam Newton came out there and said what he said about this person being a game manager, I think the most interesting part to me is how people felt like Cam Newton didn't have a right to say what he said. Cam Newton, the guy that wanted a Heisman, an MVP, led a team to a Super Bowl, a guy that uh, has the rookie record for the most passing yards by a rookie quarterback. This guy, Cam Newton, a guy, and not only did he beat you through the air, he beat you with his legs as well. Now, the only thing people could question about Cam Newton's game was maybe his maturity on the field. Because it looks like when he was winning or he did well, Cam Newton, you know, he ain't had no problem showboating, Superman and standing in, dancing in the end zone. But when he lost, he wouldn't face up to the same critics when he was trying to, like how he was shine when he win. When they lose, he was he was ghost, i.e. that Super Bowl. When they lost that Super Bowl to the Denver Broncos, Cam Newton didn't want to stay for the, for the uh, press conference. Remember that. Now, if you're going to judge his game, you could talk about that. However, judging his talent and what he did on the field and his it, and his uh, dedication to winning, you can't question that about Cam. You can't. And for folks out there that's sitting up there, um, Cam only hating because he ain't in the league, he ain't this guy and all that. Bro, y'all really think that the league is operating fair, 100% fair? Y'all really think the NFL is really operating 100% fair? Sure, maybe you can say there are 32 quarterbacks better than Cam Newton, but are you going to tell me it's 64? A league where Zach Wilson is a starting quarterback. You're going to tell me the, 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 the New York Jets couldn't have had an in-shape Cam Newton and had better success this year. That's what y'all going to tell me? I believe the bull crap if you sell it right, but you can't sell that one right to me. I'm going to keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? But... 
I think people was up in arm, at least 49er fans. We was mad because he said Brock Purdy was a game manager. He said Brock Purdy was a game manager. Us fellow 49er fans, we wasn't hearing that. Even myself, I questioned Brock Purdy's ability. Y'all can watch my old video where I said he was average at best. Yeah, I said it about Brock, but I can admit I was wrong. I can admit that I was wrong. Brock Purdy, since me saying that, is showing me he's more elite in every game of the way. Every game ever since that, uh, I only call him that because we lost that, that Cleveland Browns game because he couldn't move the ball without Debo Samuels. But every game after that, I have seen improvement in Brock. Even the ones we lost with Minnesota and Cincinnati, I have seen an improvement with Brock Purdy. However, he also called another quarterback, Dak Prescott, a game manager. Now, I'm going to be real with you, Cam. That one was more of a scratcher because Brock Purdy does show that he does follow Kyle Shanahan's system real well, and we do have the best weapons in football as far as uh, – dynamic players i will say that with a guy like christian mccaffrey who can run the ball real good and receive the ball real well a guy like debo samuels who can receive real well also can run the ball a guy like uh george kittle who's good at receiving but really really good at still blocking for the run you know what i'm saying i do think the niners or, I, or should i say brock purdy does benefit from the fact that we do have some elite weapons that are problems in one-on-one -on -one situations anyway you know what I'm saying? Now, but when he said Dak Prescott, I'm going to be honest with you. Dak never really showed me signs of him only being a game manager. Never in his entire career. Now, I love throwing the Cowboys under the bus. Like I said, as long as he got the star in his helmet, throw him on the ground, roll the bus over and roll it back. I don't care. However, we got to be factual. We got to be factual. Dak Prescott is an elite quarterback. And prior to yesterday's game, he was looking head and shoulders like the best quarterback in the league. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. He was. However, that game didn't show me a weakness in Dak Prescott. That game showed me a weakness in the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. A buddy of mine, when the Cowboys whooped Philadelphia last week, right after the 49ers, really whooped Philadelphia la the week before. He hit me up and he said, man, I think we can get y'all this time. He said, if the Niners and the Cowboys meet up, I think we can beat y'all. And I told him simply, I don't think y'all got a chance. He said, why? I said, two problems. Y'all can't run the ball and you can't stop the run. That's two things you're going to need in the playoffs. That's two things you're going to need late in the season of December. What brings up December's Dak Prescott. From November on back, Dak, by head and shoulders, best quarterback in the league. Now we looking at December dot. I don't know, bro. But like I said, it looked more bad, not just on you, but you, but the entire Cowboys offense. Y'all couldn't run the ball. And then on the other side of it, y'all couldn't stop the run. Two things you're going to need to do in the postseason. Why? Because you got to play in the elements. Like I always say, you if you come to San Francisco late in the season, you're going to have to play in the rain. Y'all played in the rain yesterday and got dusted 31-10. If you go... On the road, and you got to go to Philadelphia, which it looks like y'all may have to now because you just went down in your division. You're going to have to play in the snow. Can you do that and go out there and win? And on top of that, it looks as if Green Bay might actually. I'm sorry. I was about to make a major mistake, y'all. Let me stop that. I was about to think Green Bay was going to win their division as if I forgot Detroit is out there handling business. Well, Cowboys, y'all might go on the road and beat Detroit. I can believe that. They, they play in the dome, and the Cowboys got a really, really good passing game with Dak Prescott and the wide receivers. When they, on, when they on cold, that passing game is fire. And the Cowboys' defense is set up to stop the passing game. Oh, yeah. If all you got to do, all, if your offense only can pass the ball, you're not going to beat the Cowboys. However, if you can run that thing down their throat, you ain't got to worry about nothing. So that's why I say um, the Dallas Cowboys is more or less exposed. But now people are going to say that Dak Prescott is a game manager because of his numbers yesterday. I disagree. 
I still think that Prescott is an elite quarterback. I just think it shows that the Cowboys offense need to be a little bit more dynamic because you're not going to be able to play, i.e. the San Francisco 49ers and beat us if you can't run the ball. You can't run the ball. You can't stop the run. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be three years in a row, Cowboy fans, if y'all getting sent home. However, for the rest of the world and the media that attacked Cam Newton and said that he don't know anything about sports, Y'all got to ask yourself, what type of player was Cam Newton? Wasn't Cam Newton a running gun quarterback? Wasn't the Cam Newton a guy that if he couldn't beat you with his arms, he can pull that thing down and beat you with his legs? That's who Cam Newton was. So when we judging Cam, sorry for the light being in your eyes, but when we're judging Cam Newton and saying, well, he wasn't that good and he wasn't this. Look at his numbers and all that goofy stuff that people like to do online. Ask yourself, why would he say that? For one, if you're a quarterback and that's all you do is beat people from the pocket, like a Jared Goff, then yeah, he's going to look at you like you're a game manager, which is not a bad thing. Tom Brady won like three Super Bowls when he was a game manager. He won the other three when he was elite. Of the, of the other 30 Super Bowls he won when he was elite. However, the first three, he was just a game manager, a guy that just beat you within the system. But Cam Newton, when he says a game changer, when the defense stopped the play, when the play is broken down, what do you do? Now, Brock Purdy, on the other hand, Cam, maybe you need to reassess that about homie because the play breaks down a few times and Brock Purdy get out there and do what he does. Now... When it come to Dak Prescott, same thing. But the other guys, I think he hit it right on the head. Anyway, y'all, Tony Mack, where it's always real, but it's always love. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace.